Eastern PA Weather 30 Meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your outlook for June 10th, 2016. For your Friday, we're going to have another continuation of these uh, mostly sunny conditions, another fantastic day. It's going to be lighter winds today than we dealt with for the past couple of days. I know we had some uh, some breezy conditions, um, some might even call it windy, uh, especially on uh, on Wednesday, but uh, we are, winds will be dying down today, still a flow out of the northwest, however. And uh, we're going to have mostly sunny skies. Temperatures moderating slightly from what they were uh, yesterday. It was still a warm day yesterday, but uh, it's going to be even warmer today with those winds dying down. We're going a little bit further here, and we're going to get into Saturday. Now, Saturday has uh, a lot of question marks with it. It's a very intricate setup, and uh, as far as severe weather goes, it's uh, also going to be a very difficult call as far as whether or not we see that. And I'm really not really not liking the the chances here. I, mean, I know the Storm Prediction Center is uh, a little enthused. At least they were the uh, the most recent update. Uh, and I did not have the opportunity to look at the new guidance because uh, this video is done very late in the evening on June 9th, uh, the night before. So I didn't get to see anything new or any new updates. But as far as the Storm Prediction Center is concerned, uh, the most recent update I had for this showed a slight risk for severe storms here outlined in the yellow marginal closer to the coast but uh, this encompasses most of our coverage area and it has been slowly expanding eastward over the last couple of runs so uh, it, it's going to be uh, again it's a very intricate setup of whether or not this happens and I'm, I'm not really sure I'm a big fan of this uh, severe weather uh, occurring here on Saturday afternoon and evening but uh, there is an opportunity there's still the, the setup with the low pressure door north matter of fact I have an image here that I used in the uh, in our premium form just to give you an idea of what's going on in the players in the field you have a cold front back here strong area low pressure up the north and a warm front draped over our eastern sections and still a trough axis uh, that's still sitting over the northeastern United States and at the same time a warm surge of air coming in from the southwest behind this warm front so there is a setup there synoptically for a uh, for severe weather to occur, but it does not mean it definitely will occur. So uh, the European model shows this as well, uh, but you can see the coverage here. It's not it's really not uh, that big of a deal uh, on this particular model. We go over to the NAM and uh, put this in motion. Yeah, this is starting off early Saturday morning. Uh, the, initially, you have a warm front that's going to be pushing through. And then the cold front still at this point. This is some. This is Saturday morning now. Uh, you have a warm front that's situated like this. Your cold front is way back here. Okay, and this is all pushing eastward. I just don't think the timing will be right for one thing. Uh, we have some very good parameters in place as far as instability. Uh, some pretty decent shear involved. But uh, if you don't have all the pieces of the cake there to make the cake, you can't really make a cake. If you didn't have flour, you're not going to have a cake. It's just so you have to have every single ingredient. In order for this to work, and I just don't see it all coming together. But uh, hey, I've been wrong before. I've been wrong before, but I just don't want to get anybody excited just yet. Uh, this NAM model is showing, uh, you know, a line of weak line of storms that are going to move in uh, across the northern section of our coverage area down like this, and uh, you can see a little bit of a bow to this here. Uh, again, not overly impressive. Just a quick line of showers and storms moving through. Four kilometer NAM is not impressed either. So. Again, this is going to be a wait-and-see type thing. I really don't think we're there yet to really declare whether or not this is going to occur. So I don't want to spend too much time on this that I have already have. Uh, but it does uh, look like we have the opportunity for at least some severe weather on Saturday. We'll just leave it at that for now. And then uh, as we go forward, we'll see. Hopefully we get some better model agreement and we can narrow down timing and things like that. Getting into Sunday, bright and sunny again. Mostly sunny skies will be breezy again on Sunday as the front finally moves through. And we'll have uh, uh, humidity uh, will be pretty low. It'll be a nice day. Temperature will still be warm, though, because the front is coming through on Sunday rather than Saturday. Again, that front was way back behind, as I showed you in those previous images there. So it's going to take a while to go through. And then as we get into Monday, uh, Monday and Tuesday of next week, another couple uh, low humidity days. Uh, looks like all precipitation stays to our south or southwest. We'll watch this frontal boundary trying to move its way through. Uh, later on Tuesday right now there's a low chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm and then we start warming up it looks like as we head into uh, the middle of next week this is a look at Wednesday here nothing going on as far as precipitation is concerned but we're going to have a ridge building that's going to allow temperatures to increase uh, in a big way the center of the country will be in the 90s uh, all the way back here this is all 90s back here 
uh, and it's going to be slowly creeping northeastward, but it's going to take its time to doing so. So we'll get in the 80s first. That's, that trough axis is going to be sitting over the northeast, is going to begin lifting out. And when you get in this in-between area right here, that you're talking about slightly above normal temperatures. And finally, when it uh, kicks out of here somewhere around, probably it's going to take about till the uh, 18th, 19th, 20th time frame, somewhere in there where we're going to get flip into uh, the 90s becoming a regular thing. So... It's going to take a little bit of time to kit here, but uh, we're definitely heading in that direction if you're not uh, a fan of the cooler weather in June. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for June 10th, 2016. Have a great Friday.